Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eddie here with LifeIsAblog.com. Um, I'm sure everybody in the United States is aware that um, it's coming up on Halloween. There's going to be a lot of trick or treating going on, so I just wanted to uh, wanted to highlight a few things to help keep your kids safe. Um, one, let's not drink and drive. Um, drinking and driving kills a lot of Americans, and I'm sure you don't want to drink and drive with your child in the back. Um, that's one of the that's one of the big things I, I see a lot of on the news is people drinking and driving. Um, there's there's no need for it. There's plenty of people to help you know drive you home, get a designated driver, call a taxi cab. Um, I, I've heard a lot. It goes around every year. Don't go trick or treating because this person or that person or this town is you know injecting drugs in the candy. Um, it's going around my town here in Ohio. Uh, I just want to let you know there are a lot of ways around that stress of worrying about um, your kids getting hold of a bad apple. Um, a lot of churches, I know we just went to a church a couple days ago. We took my 16-month-old daughter trick-or-treating at a church. It's called It was called Trunk or Treat. What it is is you go to the church and you walk around the church parking lot. People got the people got the back of their SUVs and cars decorated in Halloween artifacts, um, and and it's really a lot safer than walking around at nighttime, uh, going up to strangers' houses, getting candy from people you don't know. I mean, there's still that little chance there. You know, you're still getting candy from strangers, but a lot of the time, you you know these people. You see them every Sunday at church. Therefore, you know, it might help your conscience out a little bit. Um, another thing is businesses. A lot of businesses give out candy to your children. Um, now, businesses aren't going to inject your candy with drugs, um, stuff like that. Also, just make sure your children don't eat a lot of sweets. Um, a lot of diabetic children that you don't even know is diabetic um, shoot their sugar through the roof. Uh, if you guys know any ways to help others, my viewers, anybody else who views this video, uh, stay safe on Halloween. Um, let us know as well as make sure when you're choosing a Halloween costume for your children, it's something that's going to be warm because it is fall and it's going to be probably 40 or 50 degrees and the wind's going to be blowing. Um, your children are going to be having so much fun that they're not going to say mommy, daddy, grandma, grandpa, I'm cold. You know, it's not really a frostbite issue, but you never know. Um, I know a lot of towns are doing trick or treat, um, before Halloween, that sucks. I know when I was a child, Halloween trick or treat was at night time at seven o'clock when the sun went down. Um, that way you could watch some scary movies with your family. You know, you could go trick or treating on Halloween, October thirty first, and then you come back and finish watching some scary movies. Um, that's just not the fact. That's just not the. It, that's just not it anymore. Um, a lot of the times they're keeping it on the weekends because children have school. Um, stuff like that. Uh, so what do you guys think? What is your child going to be dressing up as for Halloween? Mine is a tiger, and my beautiful 16-month-old daughter won first place in a Halloween costume, uh, last night at the Veterans of Foreign War. She, uh, it's her first contest she's ever been in, and she won first place. She got $10, so she's gonna get herself a new sippy, co sippy cup and a toy. Um, what are your kids going to be for Halloween? What are some of your safety steps and procedures that you take to make sure that your uh, children are safe on Halloween? Uh, let's hear them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. Again, this is Eddie with lifeisablog.com. Peace, guys.